morning students let us now continue our chapter number 6 question number 3 page number 264 here the short sums are given we have already understood that there are four methods are there to calculate the new share and new ratio of the remaining partner after the gain what the proportion they have so one by one with the method we are going to work out the example you see the question 3 in that point number 1 x y and z are the partner sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 z retire only this much of information is given to you it means that the first method says when the gaining ratio or a gain of a new partner a pnl ratio is not given the old ratio is to be continued this is going to be only for one mark and just want to check whether child know about it or no here the old ratio is given 5 is to 3 is to 2 z is retiring so the new ratio of x and y is remain the x and y old ratio that is what 5 is to 3 there won't be any change so the gain ratio of the remaining partner remain the same continuing partner in the portion of 5 is to 3 this is mcq normally asked for one mark question okay here uh, m1 is that you will find uh, in the illustrations number 2 method number 1 is this what we have done now method 2 what the method 2 says when the gaining share of the continuing partner is given gaining share is given okay so based on this information we have to apply the formula and find the question now here for 3 mark they do ask this type of question question 3 is there in your exercise P, Q, and R are the partner sharing profit and loss in the ratio of forty percent, twenty percent, and forty percent respectively. Q retire. The retiring partner is Q. P is acquiring three by twenty, and R is acquiring one by twenty portion from the Q share. How much portion they have acquired? Gain they have acquired from the retiring partner. This is what the information is given. so when the gaining share is given this way you have to calculate the sum the old ratio is given the old ratio of p q and r is 40% means 40 by 100 20 by 100 40 by 100 you can make it 4 is to 2 is to 1 further reduce the value 2 is to 1 is to 2 this is your old ratio now q retire given information to us so p is acquiring 3 by 20 portion of the share of q and r acquire 1 by 20 share of the q again this is the given data to us so gain for the p 3 by 20 r 1 by 20 reduce form if you do you will get 3 is to 1 so we are getting the gain ratio first step is to calculate in which proportion they have received the gain now new share as we know the formula to find the new share old share plus gain we know the old share we know now the gain also so old share of the p is 2 by 5 we have here 2 by 5 plus the gain that is 3 by 20 we have worked out 3 by 20 make the lcm common multiplied with the 4 over here So eight plus three upon twenty. So here eleven by twenty. The same way do it for the R. The old ratio of the R is two is to five plus the gain we have calculated. That is one by twenty. That is what given in the question itself. Again make the your uh, denominator common with twenty. So nine by twenty. So the new ratio P and L ratio of the P and Q. Is eleven is to nine. Now this question be there for the three marks in the D section. So one mark question orally which you can do for one mark. Three mark question you have three steps to do one, two, and three. 
So three marks for that. Like this, this is what second method we have done. Question number fifth, that is of the third method. What the third method says? When the gaining ratio of the continuing partner is given. Okay, gaining ratio is given. Here in the earlier question, it was gaining share. Word make the difference and accordingly you have to understand. See the question number five. C, B and D are the partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 4 is to 5 is to 3. The old ratio that is what given to us. D retire and his share is taken up by C and B in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So here the ratio is given 2 is to 1. So D retire and profit share of the D Acquired by the C and by the B in the 2 is to 1 proportion. So one formula you have to first of all find, uh, apply to find the gain share. So the gain share of the continuing partner. You need to do this particular step and you need to remember this particular formula. The share of the retiring partner. So share of the retiring partner means D. D share. And multiplied with the gaining share of the partner. That is continuing partner. How much is their gaining share? So C's gain is equal to the old retiring partner share. That is 3 by 12 into the gaining portion we have already found here. 2 is to 1 means 2 by 3. So 1 6 is the share which C is going to get. And B's gain. That is old retiring partner share multiplied by the gaining portion. So 3 by 12 into 1 by 3. That 1 by 3 from where we have found here. 1 is to, 2 is to 1. So 1 by 3. So the B's gain become 1 by 12. So if you put into the ratio it become 2 is to 1. Now the third step. So here also step number 1, step number 2, step number 3. The new share is equal to old share plus gain. Upper in the earlier question also we have applied the same thing. So new share of the C is equal to old share 4 by 12 plus 1 by 6 is equal to 6 by 12, 1 by 2. B's new share again 5 by 12 plus 1 by 12. So here also it become 1 by 12, 6 by 12. So is equal to 1 by 2. So here the new ratio of C and B is 1 is to 1. See here both have got the share in a different proportion. But ultimate their new ratio become equal. So in this manner you have to calculate, apply the formula as per the method. Method 1, method 2. And method 3. Now we see the method 4. Now let us do question number 11. That is of the fourth method. When the old and the new profit and loss sharing ratio are given. Old ratio is also there. New ratio is also there. Question number 11. A, B and C are the partner sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. This is what the old ratio C retire. Who is retiring? C. Always pay attention to that and underline. The new profit sharing ratio of A and B is decided at 7 is to 5. The new ratio is given. So here the gain is equal to what the formula says? New share minus old share. Okay. Old ratio is given 3 is to 2 is to 1. C is retiring. So it is information and the new ratio of now A and B only. C is retiring. So that is 7, 5. All the three things are given to us. Gain ratio means you have to find the gain is equal to new share minus old share. As per the formula. A's portion is the new share is 7 by 12. The old share is 3 by 6. So you have to make again our uh, denominator equal with the LCM. 
So you are going to multiply this 6 with 2. So here it becomes 7 by 12 minus 6 by 12 because you are going to multiply 3 also with the 2 and 6 also with the 2. So 7 minus 6 is equal to 12. So 1 you have got. What is the gain of a, a? In the same manner gain of a B. 5 by 12 minus 2 by 6 is equal to 5 minus 4 by 12 is equal to 1 by 12. So here the gain ratio of A and B is 1 is to 1. This is your final answer. Again this question is for 3 marks. That what the calculation is. Normally earlier method they do prefer ask and they do. Now the last question number 12 is very important. It is in a some different manner they have asked. Go through. A, B and C are the partner sharing profit and loss. So old ratio is given 4 is to 5 is to 1. Following journal entry of the goodwill is passed at the time of the retirement of B. They have given you the information in the form of a journal. Okay. So partner's capital account are debited. Whose capital account are debited? Old partner on the basis of their gain. So that old partner debit entry will give you the hint how the gain to be calculated. A's capital account debited 6000. C's capital account debited 4,000 to B's capital account 10,000. Okay, here B is retiring. Clear? So with this information, you have to find out that what amount of gain they have and what is their new profit sharing ratio. So how to do this type of example? The old ratio is given 4 is to 5 is to 1. So this is very simple, the direct information. A and C account are debited. Debited it means you have reduced their capital. Why? They have gained. Now going to gain something. So in the proportion of the gain their account are debited. So debited with 6000 and 4000. So it means that 6 by 10 in a reduced form if you put it become 6 by 10 and 4 by 10. For getting the uh, whatever now new portion they will get of the B. So for sacrifice, B, has, B is going out. So whatever gain they are getting or in uh, to replace that gain, they are their capital account is debited. So the gain ratio of A and B, clear? So here you have the gain ratio 6 by 10 and 4 by 10. 6 by 10 and 4 by 10, that is 6 is to 4, 3 is to 2. Now the new share, we have to find old share plus the gain received from the retiring partner. Okay, old share, this formula we have done in the previous question also. So A, A how much he is receiving? 4 by 10, that is what the old share given to us in our original first, 4 is to 5 is to 1. Plus the gain received by him. Okay. So the portion 5 by 10 into 3 by 5 uh, formula in previous example we have done this. So here you have 4 by 10 plus 15 by 50. So to make it 50, 5 is your LCM to be done. So your answer going to be 35 by 50. In the same manner the C. What portion C is getting? Old share plus the gain received from the retiring partner. So 1 by 10 plus 10 by 50 is equal to 15 by 50. Okay. So let us reduce the ratio. New profit and loss of A and C is equal to 35 by 50, 15 by 50. So 35 is to 50. You can make it still further shorter by division. 7 is to 3. So in this way also question may be asked that instead of giving you the direct information, they have given the journal. So whatever gain the partner has received, that much their capital account is debited. So debit of a capital account itself indicate that that is the gain for the partner. So in this manner, all the four type, whatever possible for the retirement, all four types are covered. You can do little more practice of the same. Still the few questions remain of that point number three that you do as a practice. All fundamental four concepts are taught to you and you must be now clear.
Thank you.